I've got this teeny teeny little brush that we're going to use for the fine details around the eyes. Maybe some just little touch-ups here on their beaks. And then maybe a couple of these wispies. And then we will go back in and do some touch-ups on the background and any finishing touches that this piece might need. I'm going to take that maybe the same color that I made for their beaks and I'm going to use that around their eyes. This also just cleans it up a little bit. Yeah, and this one it's really going to pop. Adding these little details will really bring Oops, we can touch that. We'll bring the piece together. And yes, I'm resting my hand on the painting, but this is acrylic, so it actually dried. So no worries, the painting is safe. I'm going to use this here. I can't really see around the eye, so I'm going to use this one just to add some highlights to add some depth to her face. Get a little comb there. I think honestly I might have made her beak a little bit too big, so when we go back in and fix up the background, we can shorten that up a little bit. Little wispies here. Get some of the browns back in. There you go. All right, now the secret that I have found to making eyes come to life is just do a tiny dot of white, even if you don't see it in the piece. That is what, look at that, they're staring at you. All right, so there are some details here that we're going to add in. It's mostly white, but I am going to add a touch of Payne's Gray so it's not so, um, so stark. those little dots that you see are just the mark pun intended of these this breed of chicken all right you can some down here that I failed to add earlier so I'll make those a little bit darker because this is in the shadow, so they wouldn't be as stark white. But they're still there. There we go. I am going to take just some straight Payne's gray and hide some of this red here because that's not my thing on painting. Some people love it. Like I said, you can leave it if you want to. I like to make it go away. a little bit of the brown and Payne's gray again to add the darker spot on her beak even just to there we go there we go that's a little bit better huh and she's got some dark spots here on her beak and on the side of her comb There we go. I'm going to take my other round brush and just go in a little bit on Henrietta here. And we do want to add that really bright highlight that she's going on right here, got going on right here. Go. Let's fix 
some of those uneven spots that we've got sneaking up on us here. Just a little bit. Try not to get too much or make it shaped weird. All right, there we go. We're gonna go back in, touch up the background, and finish off the foreground here. 